Hello, welcome you all to Emerging Trends in Accounting. I am VPN Murthy. So in this session, I am going to speak about the emerging trends in accounting. See, so far in the previous three sessions on emerging trends in accounting, we had discussed about the digital transformation and its impact on accounting, its implications upon the financial accountancy. So in this session, I'm going to speak about the implications of development, the negative effects of development and how to account the impact of development, the very nature of development will have some side effects. How to account that is what the emerged trends in accounting. So in this process, we are going to study on green accounting. So in this session, I'm going to speak about the meaning and definition of green accounting, its objectives, types and implementation. So what is green accounting? See, green accounting is a type of accounting that attempts to factor environmental costs into the financial results of operations. See, it has been argued that the development is quintessential to increase or to see the development of country, to increase the standard of living. In this process, there will be a depletion of natural resources because the natural resources belongs to the entire community. So in the process of development, the resources will be used and there are renewable resources and non-renewable resources. So once the renewable resources is used, there is a possibility of renewing it. But when it comes to non-renewable resources, the possibility of renewing it exhausts. So it is more or like expired cost, wherein once it is incurred, there is no way of gaining again. So environment accounting or green accounting popularly known as refers to modification of the system of national accounts to incorporate the use or depletion of natural resources. It helps to assist the management of environmental or operation costs of natural resources. See, the gross domestic product ignores the environment. See, gross domestic product is one such metric which is used to measure the development in the country. But miserably, what's happening is it is failing to account for environmental loss that is being incurred in the process of development. Therefore, the policy makers have come out with a novel idea of incorporating environmental accounting in the system of national accounts, thereby it incorporates the use or the depletion of natural resources that will take place in the process. It is a new system altogether. It is a system wherein sustainable development is propagated. So a sustainable development speaks about using the resources without compromising the needs of the future generation. Therefore, the present generation who is using the natural resources should be sensitized about the preciousness of the natural resources. So what is the definition? It permits the computation of income for a nation by taking into account the economic damage and depletion in the natural resource base of an economy. 
see any development of course we need natural resources because the resources itself is land labor capital and organization here the land belongs to of course community and it's a part of the nature so in the process of development we have mining we have agriculture we have uh, industry which keeps on using natural resources and the as i have already told you non renewable resources will exhaust in the process of usage therefore it has to be accounted so what are the objectives of green accounting it helps to segregation and elaboration of all environmental related flows and stocks of traditional account see what is that all about see it helps to estimate the total expenditure for the product protection of the environment here there is a need for protecting the environment see we have ma many initiatives that is being carried out as a part of corporate social responsibility by the organization wherein they try to protect the environment they plant trees they reduce the pollution they reduce you uh, know air pollution there are many initiatives of that kind so next is linkage of physical resource accounts with monetary environmental accounts what is this all about it covers the total stock or reserves of natural resources and changes therein even if those resources are not affected by the economic system thus natural resource accounts provide the physical counterpart of the monetary stock and flow accounts of as i've already told seea speaks about something connected with segregation and elaboration of all environmental related flows the next is assessment of environmental costs and benefits see again here it helps to assess the use of natural resources in production and its final demand and also it helps to know the changes in environmental quality resulting from pollution and other impacts of production consumption and natural events so what is this all about it assess the damage or the use that has taken place because of the production because of the consumption because of the demand increase all that the next is accounting for the maintenance of tangible wealth see the concept of capital formation natural capital i mean to say so natural capital is very important natural capital is nothing but environment see it changes the broader meaning of the wealth when it comes to wealth it is the natural resources which is very important so it accounts for that part of the uh, wealth next is elaboration and measurement of indicators of environmentally adjusted product and income so here the consideration of the costs of depletion of natural resources and changes in environmental quality permits the calculation of modified macroeconomic aggregates so notably it is said that it is an environmentally adjusted net domestic product see what do we have done we only speak about the gross domestic product for the purpose of measuring the development that is taking place in the country after adjusting to the use of environmental resources natural resources we come out with a concept called edp instead of gdp what is this edp environmentally adjusted net domestic product so it helps to know the development that has taken place simultaneously it will also help to know the use of natural resources and its implications and also speaks about the sustainable development so these are the objectives of green accounting so next is what are the type of green accounting we have 
environmental management accounting see in this type of green accounting it is incorporating both the environmental and economic information by identifying the resource usage and the expenses involved in the company's economic impact on the environment see as i have already told you there is a need for protection of the environment and what is the cost involved in protection of the environment that has to be accounted because as i have already told you in the process of development we we keep on using natural resources so what is the amount of natural resources that is being used or depleted because of the production and what are the measures that will be taken care of for the purpose of increasing the natural resources so what is the cost involved either for protection or for the development so that will be taken care of in environmental management accounting next is environmental financial accounting so as the name itself suggests this type of accounting deals with the financial aspects of the business with respect to the environment so there it speaks about the measures here it speaks about the financial implications of the environmental loss the next is environmental national accounting this type of accounting involves national level accounting with a focus on green costs and natural resources so with this kind of accounting the environmental aspects related to a nation is integrated with national accounts see here see in the last two types it was individual it is focused on individual company or a group of company consortium conglomerates all that but in this case the third one environmental national accounting incorporates the type of accounting green accounting in the system of national accounts whereby it helps to incorporate the use or depletion of natural resources so these are the types of green accounting so what is the help implementation of green accounting how it has to be done the first thing we have to educate the resource human resources employees so unless employees know the importance of the natural resources it's very difficult to bring in changes see policy makers may be having you know very novel idea of noble idea of uh, protecting the environment unless the employee is sensitized about it it's very difficult to implement therefore there is a necessary for orientation programs in this regard so and the next is minimize paper see we are moving towards e office if you see any office for that matter even government institutions have uh, channelized their paper paper work through electronic media they are no more using letters or for corresponding within their departments they are having e office e procurement for that matter any purchases and we have a very good example wherein your admission itself is now paperless how is that you are using uu cms wherein you enter all your details in usms portal thereby reducing the paper so that's how you know it has to be done so next is implement green techniques so use techniques in the accounting system to implement a greener solution create monthly green challenges opt for eco friendly office products embrace renewable energy maximize natural right reuse recycle recreate so this is all about you know near renew reuse recycle triple r it's not about the ramcharan's triple r ntr's triple r it's about reuse renew recycle wherein the natural resources will be renewed every time it is used so try to use more renewable resources because there is a possibility of renewing it so and also whenever you go for a construction of a office or a factory or a home for that matter so we need to give enough provision for natural right ventilation should be good enough therefore we need not to depend on 
artificial lighting like LEDs or any other modes because that consumes current which itself will deplete the natural resources. So next is increase mobilization. So encourage accountants to lower commute emissions by biking, walking, carpooling, working from home, all that. So of course this is self evident, uh, self explanatory because see whenever we go to our office, we can see especially those who are living in Bangalore. Uh, you might have experienced, you know, people going to office. You can see. Uh, especially uh, while you are going to a white field or electronic city, there, there will be more number of cars, but if you see inside, there will be one person who is driving to the office. So if that is reduced, if that is taken care of, definitely, you know, if there is a concept of carpooling, if, of course, you know, we do have carpooling nowadays in Bangalore as well. So many people are sensitized about carpooling. So anybody who is heading towards electronic city and having colleagues, uh, in the way so they pull the car and uh, try to reduce the emission and also cost will also be reduced so there will be win-win situation for both of them so next is decrease energy consumption of course as i have already told you know use energy saving bulbs implement light sensors whenever you are out you need not to switch off the light if you forget to switch off the light if it if there is a light sensor it will switch off by itself. Of course, uh, these are all, you know, technologically advanced uh, apparatus. So, so, of course, if you are using it, definitely there will be a uh, decrease in the consumption of energy, thereby decrease the depletion of natural resources. So, this is all about uh, the implementation of green accounting. So, thank you for watching this video. Thank you all.